Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Peyton Forbes. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Wednesday, March 31st, 2021. Let's go to Randy to see what's happened today in history. Thank you, Peyton. Today in history on March 31, 1889, the Eiffel Tower initiated. The 984 Eiffel Tower, a rough iron technological masterpiece created by Gustave Eiffel to commemorate a hundred years of the French Revolution, was officially inaugurated in Paris this day in 1889. The project was finished five years after it began in 1884, supported by 50 engineers, 5,300 blueprints, and 100 iron workers who crafted the 18,038 individual parts used in the assembly and 121 men constructed this tower. The Eiffel Tower is owned by the city of Paris. Now let's go to Scott for the sports highlights. Thank you, Randy. Today's sports highlights are brought to you by the Patriots. In the world of extreme sports, who would have imagined that athletes would want to jump from buildings just for fun? In its purest form, base jumping involves highly trained extreme athletes who climb to the highest points on fixed objects like buildings, antennas, bridges, and earth. Participants don't use any aircrafts but simply jump free fall for a little bit and then deploy their parachute and glide to a landing site. It is one of the most dangerous of extreme sports and has exploded in popularity in recent years. Do not try this at home, kids. Now let's go to Ona Alicia for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is homestyle Salisbury steak with gravy, bun, seasoned diced potatoes, baby carrots, ranch dressing, diced peaches, and milk. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Noah. Get ready, all Patriots in kindergarten, first, and second grade, because tomorrow, April 1st, is the Renaissance at Pines Easter Egg Hunt. In addition to the Easter Egg Hunt, in-person students in kindergarten through second grade can dress down in pastel colors for $1. I'm extremely excited for this egg hunt. Also, scholars, FSA is almost here. Our first FSA tests start next week. Be sure to participate in your class reviews so you can be at your best. Here are the upcoming FSA testing dates in April. Now let's see what the weather is going to be like today with David. Thank you, Peyton. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecast to be 85 degrees Fahrenheit and partly cloudy. Looks like a good day to play a game of tennis. Now let's go to Samuel for the joke of the day. Thank you, D. Samuel, that was hilarious. Today's birthday girls are Isaiah Troutman, Isabella DeFarius, and Gianna Allen. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Solomon. Patriots, don't forget your Pat's expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, choose the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Miss Newton, Miss Santi Esteban, Miss Aim Denqua, Miss Stone, Miss Hendrickson, Miss Yearwood, Miss Manon. Miss Anaya, Miss Mraz, Miss Soto, and Miss Santori. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's riddle, which was a hungry donkey was tied to an eight foot long rope. About 30 feet away, there was a basket of fresh carrots. The donkey really wanted to eat those carrots. How did he reach them? The correct answer to the riddle was the other end of the rope wasn't tied to anything. Now for today's riddle which three letters can frighten away a thief? Again, which three letters can frighten away a thief? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced the following day. 
Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a wonderful Wednesday. And don't forget, remember, reunite, rise. Have a great day.